And welcome back to my channel. I am Funko Hat 4479, and we have a special edition of Funko Pop for you today. Um, I I did have quite a few that I was supposed to be reviewing with you guys, but um, what I did was I actually boxed two box full of pops up for my son, which had a lot of special editions in them. So um, it was pretty cool because I had to collect for him as I go along. So that's pretty cool. So I, I popped into Smith's, I think it was Sunday, I'd say. Probably Sunday, yeah, Sunday. And um, a few weeks ago, I, I actually, I think it was my last video before my merch video came out. I did a video on a wrestling pop. And today is no different. I'm going to be doing another wrestling pop. Um, so I believe that it was actually, um, Jimmy actually did a review on this before as well and I thought it was really really cool and I thought I just had to have it because of what it is. And so what it is, what I have here is the Eddie Guerrero with the WrestleMania 20 pin in it. That was the year that Eddie faced Kurt Angle, uh, Chris Benoit. Face Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Uh, it might have been the same year that I think it might have been the same year that uh, Rock and Mick Foley took on Evolution as in, as in Batista, Orton, and Ric Flair as well. Um, and it was the same year that Kane faced. Undertaker as well, I believe. This is making me think now. Uh, then anyway, I just got off this. I, lo I, lo I absolutely love the box. I love how these, the Funko Pop actually looks real on the front as well, as you can see. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, I will be opening this. Um, I just realised that there's a China one on here, which I didn't realise there was a China pop, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and get a hold of the Edge one though, because that's probably my favourite one. We've got Otis there with the Money in the Bank, uh, Drew McIntyre, Stone Cold. There's a Stone Cold as well, I think he's got two belts, I think it's Rock that's got two belts, one or the other. And then there's uh, the two pack special that has Mankind and The Rock, I think it is, or something like that. I can't remember off the hot where they are. If you check on the back, you can see what's on there as well. Uh, we're going to open this and we're going to see what's inside it. So, here's the other, if you're a new new person to this, I don't usually open Funko Pops, it's not something I do. But if it's something like this, then I open it because it's a part of something I really enjoy, something I grew up watching. So, this one came with the um, sort of fans spotlight thing again which is really cool they did it with the five stars which they, they do quite a lot um, but this also came with a Wrestlemania 20 pin Ric Flair came with the Royal Rumble 1992 pin um, that's the Royal Rumble he won and then he lost to Bret Hart so further down the line I've watched that yesterday actually yeah so that was Bret Hart's first big championship not a Bret Hart fan I prefer the wrestling before the internet come along but it is just what it is uh, I watch it because I've always watched it so as you can see there is the Wrestlemania 20 pin and um, it's really cool um, Ed, uh, the Eddie Guerrero had the month before Wrestlemania had beaten Brock Lesnar um, Oh yeah, that was the same year that Brock and Brock and Goldberg won, uh, went into the one-on-one uh, -on -one match with special guest referee Stone Cold. Not a very big match to say. So yeah. So one thing I, I noticed Joe about this pop is I don't understand why there's these sort of blonde highlights in his hair. Um, 
You know, he, he had so many different WrestleManias, but the blonde highlights don't make any sense. I know he had one with Mysterio as well, uh, that when they were tag team champions as well, but it's still a good pop. Uh, he, I believe he died in his 40s, he's way too young to die. He was, yeah, he was way too young to die for his age, and um, yeah, he died of a heart attack apparently. So, and here we have the Eddie Guerrero Bronco pop. So, as you can see, it's uh, pretty awesome. It's got like these sort little of trademark things on his trousers there. If you get that. Um, and the gold, the gold boot is what he took off during the match. So, uh, yeah. So this is an awesome pop. Um, I'm going to put it back because it's one of those where I don't want to ruin it, and I'm not going to ruin it. So, right. now like that. The last time I did this, I struggled to get everything back inside the box. It was quite funny because I did the Ric Flair one before that. So, so yeah. Um, um, there we go. It's actually going in a lot better than last time. I think it is anyway. No, it's not. Well, what we do is I'll fix that afterwards. And it's fine. I'm not, not going to fix it now because I don't really want to have to fiddle with it at any time. Or it's quite annoying though how this is not working very well. But there we go. So, if any of you guys are like wrestling fans, let me know what uh, your favourite wrestler is of your time. I'll put it in the wrong way around now. Do um, you know what? I'm not going to mess around with it. No point, I can get it when I finish. So, so let me know what your favourite wrestler was from any, any era. And, uh, yeah, so that was pretty quick, that video, actually. So, um, if you did like this video, uh, give me the thumbs up, it's always good to let me know that people enjoy it. Uh, comment down below what you think. Uh, comment down below, tell me your favourite wrestler of all time. Uh, tell me your worst wrestler, mine's Hulk Hogan, I don't like him. Uh, I used to like him, luckily you should like Bret Hart, but I don't like him very much. So, um, so uh, if you're new to my channel and you want to follow me, you can follow me on my Instagram. Yeah, or you can follow me on my YouTube, which you are now. So just hit that subscribe button, get those notifications, and you'll see that I post. I haven't posted as much as I usually do. I've been quite busy working, so I got the day off. So I thought I post something up to you guys. So yeah, guys, thank you very much. And if you can see, I'm still wearing one of my new t new, new mercs I've got recently. Um, I've got another new one coming out as well, but. Um, Hope you enjoyed my video. Hope you're having a great day. I'm Funko Hatter 4479. And remember, we all collect here. I know what you fantasize about.